you guys time is back with another Lintense video and today again it's gonna be another first impressions on a fragrance that I picked up from Burlington now man I have raved so much about Burlington now when it comes to the clothes and stuff hmm could be a hit or miss you know as far as Marshalls and TJ Maxx goes however when it comes to fragrances and some pretty unique finds Burlington is pretty much the best place to go. Now, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, they'll have those, you know, one-of-a-kind, you know, gems, whatever. But there'll be those gems that a lot of people have already. Sometimes they are really popular fragrances that, you know, it's just the one time that you see it at the TJ Maxx or Marshalls that you just go up and get it. So, think of, like, maybe seeing a bottle of one million, um, uh, one million seeing that at TJ Maxx, seeing that at Marshalls. You'll see it once in a while. It'll be just like maybe like one bottle. That's it. But Burlington has some of the fragrances that are either discontinued. Um, you'll find some fragrances from different uh, companies. Like for instance, when I last time um, I bought some fragrances from there, I bought some Porsche fragrances. Like no other uh, discount store has those. So um, found those. You can find the 50 Cent Power usually at Burlington, which is a nice kind of cheap, uh, fresh scent for the gym bag, whatever. But, um, with that being said, again, man, we're definitely getting close to 750, 760, 770, 780, 790, 800. Okay, we're getting there. So, please definitely, uh, help me out. Share this channel and like and comment. But, I'm going to show you uh, just pretty much of all the things I actually picked up from Burlington. Now, I actually got a fragrance that I will be uh, doing a first impressions on. But just to show you what stuff I like to get from Burlington, okay? So, sometimes you go to Burlington, you spend like $50. 15 of those dollars might be the little aisle that leads up to the registers. Man, they put the stuff up there so strategically that... You're almost forced into buying some of that stuff. Like, man, <sighs> chocolates, 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 and some coffees, coffees, coffees. But let's see what I picked up today. So, shall we? All right. So, why these were at the near the register, I have no idea. But my son, he likes Kellogg's. He likes Frosted Flakes. He likes Fruit Loops. So, I decided to get him a three-pack of these crazy boxers look at those got a nice uh fruit loop one we just a nice blue one and then we got some with like all the different varieties of cereal on here so that is pretty cool 12 bucks um again man if you bought those at like walmart or you know target those would probably be like 20 bucks so you save over there on that definitely get your draws over there fellas we don't get free draws handed to us like women do at you know all the cool little bottom stores we don't get we don't get the cool freebies free pair of underwears every month we don't get that so um we got to go out there and actually buy underwear um all the time and honestly fellas we will let boxers become thongs before we toss them out ladies they just they they buy a gazillion pair of underwear i don't know why men we probably got like a total of 10 in our drawer and that's it but that's just me i don't know uh next up <clears throat> another thing i bought i did say i like chocolate and man i wanted to give these a shot these are some dark chocolate covered pomegranate flavored like jellies so it's like a nice jellied uh smooth center uh surrounded by some dark chocolate so those are pretty good 3.99 again you went to like walgreens target walmart Probably looking at like $7.99. So chocolates, get them. Next up, the wifey. She loves nice sour candies. We all do. I do. Here we go. We got some tangy, zangy twisties. What the hell are these? I have no idea. But they are $2.79. You go to any other store, these are probably $5.99. So definitely go get your sour gummies and stuff. Man, this is almost a new place to go to before you go into one of those movies. You know what I'm talking about. Last but not least, a beautiful lint touch of sea salt dark chocolate candy bar or a piece of chocolate, whatever you want to call it. 
Now these things are usually like four dollars at Walgreens or Target or Walmart. One forty nine. So definitely go check out your local Burlington. They got all the crazy deals. But the star of the show is this fragrance from the House of Twos. Okay. Now the only other fragrance I've seen in this, uh, I think it was, I think it was nineteen twenty one or something, some weird number twos some weird number okay forgot what it is i'll have to look that up but um man i've never seen a twos brand of fragrance at any discount store no tj maxx no marshall's no ross but bam spotted this and i was like man i gotta get that I've been meaning to try a fragrance from this company now i don't know much about this all i do know is that it says it's a spanish jewelry house that starting to make fragrances now so this one is Two's man less glonious concentres. So there's your Spanish for the day. If you guys know what that means, let me know. Because I don't know. Now the crazy thing is about this fragrance, especially this exact fragrance, this two's fragrance. If you go on YouTube, which I'm pretty sure you're gonna do right after you see this video, you're gonna be like, man, I wonder what the next Joe thinks. Well, unless you're fluent in Spanish, good luck, my friends, because I might be the only English speaking uh, fell on YouTube that's done a review on this one. So here we go. Here it is. Twos. It's got this nice little rigid, almost looks like wood. If you looked at it real close, looks like kind of like a piece of a two by four or something like that. Although it is cardboard, it does have a nice little uh, woody feel to it. On the bottom, we do have some batch code alert stuff right there. But here we go. Now, this one, um, see what kind of uh, you know, for Granica, they're kind of calling this like a citrus woody aromatic. So, obviously, something that's probably been done before. But again, honestly, guys, people who like fragrances, people who like video games, people who like shoes, clothes, jewelry, watches, eventually you buy so many of those things, you are going to, you bound to have similar items. You know, honestly, you're going to be like, oh, Please let me know what that smells like. It smells like all the other bullshit that has this stuff in it. The citrus, the woods and stuff, okay? Just buy it. Obviously, you guys are... If you're watching me, you guys are frag heads. Your fragrance aficionados. Your fanatics. Your collection is out of this world huge. And you're never going to go through all the BS in your life. So just buy it. You don't care what it smells like, obviously, unless you're telling me that each one of your bottles are exactly different, then I suggest just go buy this, okay? Don't look for a, a suggestion, what what kind of fragrance this reminds me of. Don't look for that. Just go out there and buy it, especially if I tell you I like it. So here we go. This one, we got grapefruit, orange blossom, some woods. We got mint. And at the base, we just got vetiver and tonka beans. So very minimalistic, six notes in here so here we go but look at that bottle you guys i'm definitely liking this it's kind of like this ridged almost like if you took a like a quarter of a letter c and then you, this is what you had right here it has this nice wood cap and it actually feels like it could be some wood maybe like they put like some kind of plastic coating on the outside to maybe you know maybe stop from maybe getting like splinters on here but it does kind of feel woodish but here we go unless they had a Good old guy sandpapering the hell out of it to make it smooth, but this is a damn good, nice cap twos right there. Nice bottle. Uh, the bottle, actually, I'm kind of disappointed there's nothing on the bottle. I mean, I see where they went with it. They put the twos right here on the cap, but if you lost this, look how f funny that would look. It just look like just a bottle on your collection, so please don't lose this if you guys get this, all right? Here we go. On the bottom, we do got batch coat again down there. Here we go, though. So grapefruit and some orange blossom. So I'm expecting a nice blast of citrus up at the top. But here we go. Let's see. Ooh, nice atomizer, too. I'm going to go three sprays on this one. <sighs> it is very citrusy and kind of florally. Yes, it is. Oh, that's very nice. Um, now, it will kind of probably come off a little harsh right up at the front. Like right there, it is 
you do get a lot of citruses and kind of like this florals in the background. Now that alcohol is fading away. Now it is really starting to smell really nice, you guys. It's almost kind of... You are getting a little bit of woods. Um, it's like smelling like maybe kind of like wood chips on top of that grapefruit, that orange blossom. So you got orange florals, a little bit of woodiness. You do get a little bit of that mint because there's a there's something in here that's kind of giving me that cool effect in the nose area when I'm doing all that. It's definitely a nice mint on this one, actually, you guys. The mint is really starting to come through a lot on this one. The grapefruit is kind of almost um, diminished already, so it, it's still there, but it's more of those woody, that blossom, and that minty note right now. And you do get this kind of earthiness that you would get from that vetiver. And I'm not getting, t there is, you know what, now that I'm smelling it, there is almost kind of like this bubblegummy sweetness that I think that Tonka bean is adding to it. So man, this is very nice. However, now this one, this one, as far as projection goes, this one is not going to blow everyone away, okay? Um, the smell is very pleasurable. It is a definitely, it's definitely a people pleasing fragrance, okay? Anyone who gets close enough to smell this is, you know, they're not going to run away. They're not going to give you, you know, uh, the, the, the bad, uh, oh, you stink. What, the, what are you wearing? They're not going to give you that. They're not going to give you no negative, negative feedback. Um, but however, with this one, it seems like this one is going to have to be a spray heavy, or if you don't spray heavy at all, you kind of, kind of, the, the smell is going to probably, uh, dissipate quickly. Um, however, again, that mint in here is very nice. Now, again, if you got to just spray heavy with this one, um, that opening did kind of remind me a little bit of John Varvatos Artisan Pure, but then I don't remember getting that mintiness and that woodiness, like the, the woodiness and the mintiness that I'm getting from here is very nice right now. But that opening kind of reminded me of JV Artisan Pure. But man, there's definitely, like I said, a nice minty, almost sweet bubblegumish vibe that you get probably from that Tonka being given it that sweetness. You get a little bit of that woodiness light florals but again you guys this one is a overall the scent is very nice you guys this is definitely going to be a spring or summer type fragrance high heat would definitely do this fragrance justice um however um unless you're the type that needs to project you need to you know make everyone notice you then this one might not be for you however this kind of gives me almost the same thought. Um, if you guys know anything about Versace All Fresh. Now, if you know if you toss that in the freezer or the refrigerator and let it cool overnight before you spray it, it does seem to project a little bit louder. This seems to be almost like this is going to be the same type of fragrance deal. Where like if you stick it in the cooler for a little bit and then you spray it. Not sure what the hell the freezer or refrigerator does, but it seems like that'll help out with this fragrance. So with that being said, for 25 bucks at Burlington, okay, that is not actually a bad price, especially if you think about what you're going to spend on Artisan Pure, uh, Versace Fresh, you know, everyone has that one. This is one of those fragrances that probably not everyone is going to have, okay? So with that being said, I would definitely recommend this. Again, if you just need to take yourself a little atomizer or maybe just go spray heavy on this one, do so. But again, that minty, woody little light florals a little bit of gumminess from that tonka bean that's giving it the sweetness vetiver giving it this nice little earthiness it's not a dirty earthiness at all but there you guys go that is actually pretty nice twos twos less colonias concentres there you guys go hope you guys enjoyed that video if you guys did Hit the likes, comment, and subscribe because I'm about to eat me some pomegranate chocolate jellies. Peace out. Yeah.